Lumbar stenosis is an entity which means narrowing of the spinal canal. The spinal canal consists of the vertebral body in the front and the bony elements which are called the lamina in the back. So as people are aging, their body starts to create bigger ligaments in order to try to support the lumbar spine because as we age, the muscles are not as strong anymore. The patients are usually complaining that they're sitting, no problem. When they're standing totally straight, they start to develop leg heaviness and leg pain and weakness. When they're sitting again, the symptoms go away. When they walk a few blocks, they feel like the legs are getting heavy. The legs start to hurt as well as the back starts to hurt. And then again, what we do is sit down, take a rest, and that resolves the problems immediately. If you examine a patient like that, when they're sitting, resting, you don't find anything abnormal on their exam. However, walking is what really causes the problem. The natural instinct of the body is to make this central canal wider, so the way to do that is by bending forward. So what people do is either start using a cane, and by doing that, they bend forward and they open the canal more, or very typical when they go to the supermarket, they get the cart and we lean all forward on the cart. And without even realizing it, you get to open the canal and relieve the symptoms of the leg pain as well as the back pain. In this case, it's a plain x-ray is really not going to show much. So the next step, which is the most appropriate test, would be the MRI. As soon as the MRI is done and detects a severe, moderate to severe degree of stenosis, then a neurosurgical spine referral is very appropriate. So the surgeon is basically going to discuss the options with the patient. This is kind of a tricky question. Surgery is the ultimate option for this case. However, depending on the degree of the stenosis and how disabled the patient is, that will determine what the final decision is going to be. And again, it will take into account a lot of considerations, how stable the patient is, how disabled the patient is from that disease, and also take into account comorbidities the patient may have. Physical therapy helps a little bit with strengthening the back muscles, so may prevent the deterioration of the disease throughout the years. So if somebody has a mild to moderate degree of this disease, mild to moderate degree of stenosis, I think physical therapy is a very reasonable option. When you get to the point that people cannot walk more than a block because the legs get heavy, the back hurts a lot and they need to sit down, they cannot stand up to either do the dishes or cook a meal, then you know it's too late for physical therapy. The role of the injections. The injections are buying you time. The injections do not solve the problem. So depending on what the expectations and the requirements are, injections may be an option, but again, they're not treating the problem. They're just buying time on somebody who says, you know, I don't want the surgery over the next six months. What other options do I have to do? Then by all means, please do the injection. On the other hand, patients need to realize the injections will not change what's going on what's structurally going on. I would say there is a relatively typical type of surgery in these cases. What we need to do is basically take off the pressure from the nerves. So the ligaments in combination with the bone that sits behind the spine are creating a lot of pressure on the nerves, sometimes also in combination with disc herniations in the front. So the goal of the surgery would be to take the pressure by removing these ligaments as well as the bones and give a much bigger room for the spine. Patient responds immediately when the acute phase of the surgery is over, when the pain is gone, within two or three weeks, you see amazing how the patients are able to walk long distances, they're able to stand straight, and people, friends and relatives, in fact, tell them they look taller because they're able to stand straight.